Assalamualaikum and hello to everyone. So in this video, okay, we will look at an additional question, okay, for chapter two, okay. So this question is uh, a bit different, okay, from the tutorial question uh, that is uh, in chapter two. They are in chapter two because uh, this question now uh, involves a thermodynamic cycle okay based on the uh, thermodynamic processes which we have covered in chapter 2 so it's a bit different so that's why uh, this is this video is to share okay uh, a question okay re regarding a thermodynamic cycle okay so uh, we can read the questions together okay so we have a gas okay which uh, is undergoing a thermodynamic cycle okay and this cycle consists of three processes okay so the first post, uh, process <clears throat> from state one to state two is a constant pressure heating process so uh, the values for the initial state okay so p1 800 kilopascal and v1 the volume at the initial state is 0 0.02 meter cube and the given also the volume at the second state okay state 2 so the first process is an isobaric process okay next is the second process from state 2 to state 3 it is only mentioned uh, that the process is an isochoric process constant volume process okay uh, whether it's a heating or cooling process it is not mentioned here but uh, we will look at that later for the third process okay from state 3 back to state 1 so that is why this uh, question involves a cycle because uh, it returns back to its original state okay so for the third process from state 3 to state 1 isothermal compression process okay back to its original state meaning that uh, when we draw the PV diagram we will have a full cycle okay so the question asks us to sketch the PV diagram okay as mentioned before for the cycle and determine okay number one the pressure and also volume for each of the state so some of these values uh, are already given in the question what is not given uh, we are required to find okay and then the total work done for the cycle so there are three processes so uh, technically there will be three okay boundary work equation okay each uh, process has its own boundary work okay so let's us begin with uh, step one okay which is to draw the schematic diagram for the cycle okay so for step one here okay so we have the initial state okay so state one what is known is the pressure 800 kilopascal initial volume 0 0.02 okay meter cube second so the first process state 2 is an isobaric heating process so the piston will rise slightly okay so this is state 2 okay p2 isobaric is the same as p1 volume at state 2 is 0 0.03 okay we connect it okay so this is an isobaric heating all right and then the second process from state 2 to state 3 is an isochoric process so the position of the piston is the same because it's a constant volume process okay but only what we know is only it's a constant volume whether it's a heating or cooling we do not know but we will look at that later so state 3 we know that 
we do not know the pressure okay but we do know that the volume is equals to uh, volume at state 2 okay because it's an isochoric process so that's the second process now the third process is the return from state 3 to state 1 we don't have to draw an additional piston cylinder okay and label it state 4 no what we do is we label an arrow okay showing the process back to state 1 so this is an isothermal compression okay okay so so this is the step one the schematic diagram of the process okay so we have isobaric heating uh, isochoric we don't know whether it's a cooling or heating process and the third process is an isothermal compression now to make this schematic diagram complete meaning that uh, we know that the first process is an isobaric heating the third process is isothermal compression now for the second process uh, what type of process so we can see by uh, sketching the PV diagram okay so we have uh, the initial state state 1 isobaric process heating so when heating the volume will increase so it goes to the right to state 2 okay so from 0 0.02 it increases to 0 0.03 all right now for the second process so for an isochoric we know that the process line is a straight vertical line meaning that either it goes up or it goes down okay if it goes up it's a heating process okay if it goes down it's a cooling process okay because if it goes up at constant volume okay since there is no change in volume the pressure will start to rise because it is not expanding okay the volume is not expanding so the pressure will increase okay if it's if it goes down okay the pressure will decrease because we are cooling it okay we are cooling it so uh, the pressure will decrease so now so which way do we draw it okay do we draw it upwards or do we draw it downwards the key here now is the third process okay it's an isothermal compression now for isothermal we know that the process line for an isothermal okay is a curve line okay so if it's an expansion process state 1 to state 2 okay so this is an is uh, isothermal expansion but right now it's an isothermal compression meaning that it has to go in the opposite direction so here is one it goes opposite direction to state 2 okay so now Knowing this basic, okay, this is an expansion, this is compression. So right now, our arrow should go to the left. Okay, so knowing that now the arrow should go to the left. So our isothermal compression line should be back to its initial state here. From 3, so 3 is here, back to 1. So meaning that our isochoric process line should go downwards. Okay, it should go downwards. Okay, so that we can draw our isothermal compression line. Okay, if it goes upwards, we cannot draw. Okay, our isothermal compression line to make it a complete cycle. Okay, so back to our schematic diagram. So this isochoric process here is an isochoric, isochoric cooling process. Okay, so now our step one is complete. Okay, step one is complete. And also we have sketched the PV diagram for the question. Okay, now for step two. For step two, okay, uh, write what is required, what is required, what the question asks us to find. And if there are any equations, please uh, write them down. Okay, so the first one to find the pressure and volume at each state. 
Okay, so at state 1, we already know the pressure, 800, and also the volume, 0 0.02. So state 1 complete. Okay, state 2, 1 to 2 isobaric, so P2 is also 800. Okay, V2 expand, uh, heating process. Okay, uh, state 3. Okay, P3 we do not know. But V3, uh, V3 we do know that it's the same as V2. So what we do not know is the pressure at state 3. So this is what we have to find when we look for the properties in step 3. Okay, the next equation is the total boundary work. Okay, so work net total. For the first process, 1, 2, 2. Second process, 2, 2, 3. And the third process, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So write individually. So 1, 2, 2 is the constant volume, pro uh, constant pressure process. Work 2 to 3 is the constant volume process. So constant volume has no boundary work, so it's a 0. Work 3 to 1 is the isothermal process. So it's uh, P3, V3, ln V1 over V3. Okay? Alright? Now, why? Because when we, when we look back at our notes, okay, in our notes, we only uh, write for state one and state two, okay. And the and the formula is written as one two two p one v one ln v two v one, okay. So basically, the f initial state, okay, one here is the initial state, two here is the final state. So if we translate it into three to one, three is the initial state. 1 is the final state. So that's why uh, it's P3, V3, ln V1, V3. Okay, so don't get that one wrong. Okay. Now for step 3. So for step 3, okay, we determine the required properties. So state 1, we don't have anything. But we can always write it down. State 2, we don't need to find anything, but we can always write it down. Okay, and state 3 now, we have to find the pressure at state 3. So, the first option is always to use the ideal gas equation PVMRT. Okay, PVMRT. Okay, this is always the first option. Okay, at a state, using the ideal gas equation, can we solve P3 using the ideal gas law equation? Now, when we look at the values, okay, we need to find P3. V3 we do know, okay, so this is present, but we don't have M. We don't. We can read for R. Ah uh, no, we don't have R. Okay, since we do not know the name of the gas and the values for specific heat is not given, and we do not have temperature. So we have only one equation but three unknowns. So this cannot be used. Okay. So what's our next option? So our next option is to link state three with the processes. Okay, so for state 3, we have two process from 2 to 3, which is the isochoric. And we have 3 to 1, which is the isothermal. Okay, we can use the process, the combined gas law. Okay, the combined gas law, if you want to look for isochoric, we can check it first. So from 2 Okay, this is the combined gas law. Now we know that volume is constant. Okay, we have pressure 2. We need to find P3, but we don't have the temperature. 
So one equation, two unknown. So basically, we cannot use the process equation during the isochoric process. No, we cannot use it. So then we look at the isothermal. Okay, using the same equation now for isothermal, the combined gas law from 3 to 1. Sorry, 1. Temperature is constant. Okay. So what we have here is P3, V3, P1, V1. We have V3, we have P1, we have V1. Okay. So using this equation, we can solve for, uh, we can solve for P3. Okay, so substitute the values. Okay, uh, 800, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. So this will get, gives us Pascal. Okay. All right, so the first item has been solved. Okay. To find all pressure and volume at all at each state okay now we look at the step four so to calculate the net boundary work first process plus second process plus third process and this one we know it's zero so we calculate individually okay so work one two okay the pressure change in volume okay so 800 0 0.03 minus 0 0.02 okay this will give us 8 kilojoules okay and the third process work 3 1 p3 v3 ln v1 v2 a v3 sorry so 533.33 kilopascal uh, okay 0 0.03 ln 0 0.02 over 0 0.03 and this will give us Okay, negative 6.49 kilojoules. Okay, negative meaning that we are compressing it. Okay, so we are work in. Okay, we are putting in work. Okay, so that we can compress the substance. Okay, so now for total, we just have to add them up. Okay, so 8 plus, don't forget to take into consideration the negative sign. So here we can get 1.51 kilojoules. Okay, so that is the answer, the solution for this question. Okay, so if there are any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me. So thank you.